ever wondered where England showcases its most breathtaking autumnal displays? Keep watching to find out. Fall or autumn is people's favorite season. It is because of the crisp air and the perfect weather to go outside and enjoy outdoor activities. Isn't that magical? Fortunately, there are perfect places to spend your autumn and witness the magical fall foliage, specifically in England. So for today's video, we will be talking about the best places to experience and see fall foliage in England. Before we begin, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also turn on the notification bell to keep you updated on our next uploads. And without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off the list at number 10 is Ishridge Estate, Hertfordshire. True to its appearance as the filming location of Harry Potter's Whomping Willow, Ishridge Estate in Hertfordshire is a magical place and one of the most lovely woodlands to stroll in during the fall. If you want to see leaves changing color, you better visit it in late September as it marks the beginning of the leaf changing season, which intensifies as time passes until the leaves fall in mid to late November. The beech trees on the estate are the ones that turn the most vivid shades of orange during this season. Although they can be found across the Chilterns, Ishridge has the greatest number of beech trees, making it the ideal location for a stroll in the fall. Besides walking, you can also enjoy outdoor activities alone or with your loved ones, such as cycling, horse riding, and educational tours. With around 30 pounds to 50 pounds, you can enjoy serene woodland walks, perhaps treating yourself to a cozy cafe snack. If you're willing to indulge a bit more, a budget of 50 pounds to 100 pounds provides access to guided tours, lavish meals, and unique estate memorabilia. Next at number nine is Revolks Terrace, North Yorkshire. Fall is just also the perfect season to do a little reminiscing, and you can do that in Revolks Terrace, situated in the North York Morse National Park in North Yorkshire, England, which provides views of Revolks Abbey. The location is a grass-covered terrace that snakes around the slope of a forested hillside and looks down on the abbey's ruins. When you visit the place, you can see the two modest Palladian temple follies from the middle of the 18th century at either end of the terrace. This is a relaxing place to take a walk while exploring the temples and, of course, witnessing the leaves change their hues. The best part, you can bring your dogs with you so they can also have fun. For those mindful of expenses, 20 pounds to 40 pounds should cover entrance fees and a delightful afternoon tea. But if you're feeling more splurgy, a 40 pounds to 80 pounds budget can bring you detailed guided tours and a hearty meal at a local eatery. Regardless of your spending, Revolk Terrace is a testament to England's timeless charm, ready to captivate every visitor. Next in line at number eight is Sherwood Forest, Nottinghamshire. Watch the surroundings turn into shades of green, red, brown, oranges when you wander in the Sherwood Forest in Nottinghamshire. Sherwood is a fantastic location to view the breathtaking variety of autumnal colors. A palette of flaming reds, sunny yellows, ember oranges, and chestnut browns replaces the summer greens. The woodland floor is covered in acorns during the fall season along with the aromas of decomposing fallen leaves, shining acorns, clusters of berries, and mossy logs provide fantastic textures to this visual feast. Coming in at number seven is Westonbert Arboretum, Gloucestershire. Westonbert is a must-see destination because of its stunning autumnal hues from mid-October to mid-November. More than 18,000 trees worldwide have been planted at Westonbert Arboretum since 1829, and more trees are still being added. The 17 miles of way marked paths at the Arboretum are spread throughout two regions. The formal Arboretum has many beautiful plants, including most rhododendrons and magnolias. With these many trees, expect a great play of color during the fall foliage. Also, the smell of fallen leaves gives off a nostalgic smell, making you indulge in your walk more. A modest 15 pounds to 30 pounds ensures a peaceful wander through some of the UK's most magnificent trees and seasonal displays, with a pit stop for a snack. Next at number six is Sheffield Park and Garden, East Sussex. Sheffield Park and Garden is a sizable property with grounds encircling the exclusive Sheffield Park House, acres of parks, and various walking routes. If we are talking about autumn colors, the main garden is the focal point at this time of year. 
you will appreciate the place more as you internalize that the owner at the time, Arthur Soames, planted a wide variety of trees and shrubs in the early 20th century. The garden is centered around these water features, with walkways winding through glades, open meadows, and five lakes of varied sizes. Do not worry about getting lost in this huge place, as maps are available at the front door, which tell you where to discover the best displays of fall color, which is quite helpful if you only have a short amount of time and are visiting for that purpose. Before we continue with the list, please subscribe and hit the like button. It really helps us to bring you more content. And please don't forget to turn on the notification icon so you won't miss out on any of our travel videos. Let's continue with number 5, Exmoor National Park, Devon and Somerset. Exmoor displays its best colors after most summer visitors have left, including a combination of golden browns, warm oranges, rusty reds, and velvety greens. The fantastic views the trees have been concealing since the spring are revealed in Linton and Linmouth in the autumn, which we enjoy most about the area. The walker can see this incredible North Devon and West Somerset region from perspectives once hidden by summer's leaf cover. As stated earlier, autumn is also the perfect season to enjoy outdoor activities, and you can also do that in Exmoor. A mere 25 pounds to 50 pounds can offer refreshing hikes across moorland picturesque picnics by babbling brooks, and the chance to spot majestic red deer. If you want to dive deeper into Exmoor's heart, your marking 50 pounds to 100 pounds paves the way for guided wildlife tours, delicious local fare, and even some cozy pub visits. Next at number 4 is Cotswolds, Gloucestershire. As the air is crisp in autumn, it is the best time to wander in the Cotswolds countryside. As you walk, Take your time to be mesmerized by the tall and healthy trees. Step on the dried fallen leaves and do some berries harvesting. There's also an arboretum in the area for you to observe a more playful autumn color. Another exciting and enjoyable activity in the Cotswolds is deer hunting, where you can look for deer in various places and photograph them. And of course, what's more autumn than pumpkin picking, right? and that is also possible in the Cotswolds. This is just the right place to have and relax all at the same time. Coming in at number 3 on the list is New Forest, Hampshire. Let us go somewhere more unique, and that is in the New Forest, Hampshire. You'll not only see incredible color displays, but if you glance at the forest floor, you might notice something quite interesting, and those are pigs. They can be seen roaming freely in the New Forest alongside the famous New Forest ponies, cattle, and donkeys, as they eat the deadly acorns that have fallen to the ground that are not safe for the normal forest buddies to consume, so pigs are sent in to eat them all. For the mindful traveler, just 20 pounds to 50 pounds promises tranquil walks beneath ancient canopies, interactions with the famed free-roaming ponies, and a quaint bite at a forest cafe. If you're seeking a deeper dive into the forest's allure, 50 pounds to 100 pounds ensures captivating guided wildlife excursions, mouth-watering local cuisine, and perhaps a cycle rental to cover more ground. Next at number two on the list is Richmond Park, London. Richmond Park is the largest royal park in London. Aside from the great views of autumn trees, there are more than 600 red and fallow deer that houses in Richmond Park and they are one of the park's main attractions. The best time to visit Richmond Park in the fall if you want to take in the changing foliage is from early to mid-November. You'll have lots of space to yourself because it is a sizable 2,500 acres. Bikers or weekend riders will surely enjoy the bike lanes available for outdoor adventures. And now, the number one on the list is the Lake District. Cumbria undergoes a stunning transformation in scenery during the fall. As autumn takes hold of the landscape, the sweeping valleys take on orange, yellow, and gold hues, creating breathtaking panoramas. Long hikes in the mountains, bike rides through the forest, or even a swim in a lake where the waters are still clinging to the last of the summer's warmth may all be enjoyed in the outdoors, which is still a warm and inviting playground. The greatest local produce is displayed during foraging season, and festivals honor the harvest and many other things. This is the ideal time to discover the bounty of the Lake District and Cumbrian larder since restaurants, pubs and cafes make the most of seasonal, local produce. For the thrifty adventurer, 
A budget of 30 pounds to 60 pounds allows for peaceful strolls along misty lake shores, hearty meals in charming village pubs, and perhaps a ferry ride across Windermere. And there you go, England's best places to experience and see fall foliage. Do not hesitate to visit them the next fall. Share with us what you think about this video by commenting below. Please make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. You can also ring the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our future uploads. So where do you want to go next? See you there in our next video.